Looks like we have four cases, correct? Is one going to be correct, Your Honor? They're all state jail. It's two years in each case to run concurrent. There's three other Jefferson County cases that are used in eight years. We call four cases 22 40558, 40559, 40560, 40561. All style in the state of Texas versus Chad Romero. That's you? Yes, sir. And we got for these all burglaries with clients. <clears throat> That's correct, Your Honor. Okay. Let's just take 40558. If he's guilty of everything here, what would that do? What would that do? What would that make it? State jail felony punished as what? A second degree felony? It would enhance it, Your Honor. Uh, it would, yeah. it would, it's a, bur it's a burglary of a building. So it's a state jail felony burglary building, so it stays that way, but it would be punished because these are in sequence, right? He's looking at up to 20 years in prison, right? Uh, with that, he would just, it would go to a, I read well, it's in sequence, isn't it? So he's looking at up to 20 years. I mean, y'all know that y'all have been living yeah. with this. Yeah. He says that's true. Yeah. You don't know the answer to that? No, they're not in sequence, Your Honor. So it would not be. Uh, I think the aggravated robbery as well as the the other one were both on March 17th, 1997, the 252nd. And then there was a... Uh, a state jail felony, which neither one of those, you either have to have the two state jail felonies to bump it up or the two. Um, yeah, other, you know, anything I'm just wrong, but look at this. On 40558, look at the last paragraph that after the conviction of 73004, which is paragraph two, became final. And after the conviction of zero oh, seven three zero four six became final, which is in paragraph three, says yeah, that he yeah. committed the felony of burglary of a habitation, was finally convicted of that. Yeah, that, that's correct, Your Honor. I was thinking burglary of a. Two, uh, two twenty. Okay, so we're looking at two and twenty on each, yes, please. Is that right? Yes. Sir. Okay. So what is our plan? He was sentenced to eight years uh, in August on. His other cases here. Uh, oh, what, what other cases here? Uh, I don't. Uh, all I have are these new four. That was. Do you have that, please? Three five eight six three. In in this court. That was yes yes your honor. Again, three five eight six four. So what does he get? And three five eight six five. He received eight years on those three cases. He's getting two years in state jail on these four and all run concurrent. No, I, I you have to sell that to me. He's a prolific criminal. He's a pro, he's looking at twenty years in prison here on all of this. And really, we're selling. He he gets like the more you can. You more you can commit, you package him up. I don't understand. I mean, he's a prolific criminal. Go to his criminal history, please. The last time he went to prison, what did he get? Let's say aggravated robbery. Go back to that. He went to the fourth one down. There we go. Third. No, not that's third. Fourth one. Fourth one, please. Thank you. What did he get? Eight years in ninety-seven. Okay. And then he got the eight years. So now yeah, years he's together. getting a bunch of more. He's committing more crimes that he's looking up into 20 years, and we're going to give him two, and that's a deterrent? No, not on my watch. No. We, if we have to try each of these, you're, you're a prolific criminal. You got my attention. No. Sorry. No, I'm not going to take that. Deal. Go to, we'll let a jury decide 
what you want. We'll let a jury decide. Okay. Let's go to Paul Nguyen. Put those in the trial bag. Okay. That doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. And well, these until were pending. it does, I'm sorry. Y'all, I'm not I'm gonna be the watchdog on that, but that nobody's told nobody's in, informed me of anything. I'm looking on that and it it there's no way that passed the smell test to the general public. Yeah, I'm not sure how it happened. I guess he got sentenced in 2022 in this court for eight years, and he these cases were committed before those cases. So that was I guess that would be correct. They're from 20. But the way these indictments or the way that yes, works, he's looking it up to 20 years. But how many now, if all of that said, what is his, how many felony convictions does he have, not counting these this morning? How many does he have? Can you pull that up? Well, at least we don't know what, where we are in this county. But he's a prolific criminal. Two, six, no, one, two, three, four, five, seven, no, six, you're right. Six, six prior felony convictions, and now y'all are going, he, he's going to be packaged four of these to two years stay jail when he's looking at up to 20 years? Does that make sense? That doesn't sell the public. People don't think that's right. I'll tell the court that back in 2022, August of 22, I had the same felony theft, state jail felony theft, with these same two prior, same priors. And I gave him eight years back then. So that's that was the last eight years that he got was was when I gave him eight on. on Something that these were, I don't know if these were pending or not. Well, I'm so, not doing two, two years state chance yes, running concurrent. Not yes, do it for me. Y'all yeah. decide if there's something else, but otherwise, he, maybe he just needs to get tried and let the jury uh, here in Jefferson County decide how safe they feel with because now, I mean, he'll have 10. We're talking about 10 felony convictions and we're doing two year state jail package after he had eight years before. That just doesn't work all right on time to be broke 21 three seven two three five that's you ma'am yes sir drug patch hearing that's what it says oh i see we've got drug patch problems your honor we've furnished see. the court with Not the individual's name oh a positive here did you see these in june collected I'm sorry, in December, collected in positive for methamphetamine. You know, we've also submitted independent tests around that period. Okay. Uh, so what does that mean? Positive for methamphetamine in November. Positive for methamphetamine in October. Positive for methamphetamine in September. Positive for methamphetamine in another September day. The third September day, positive. August, positive methamphetamine. August 5th, another day, positive for methamphetamine. In July, methamphetamine. June, methamphetamine. June methamphetamine. Okay. You said you had, do you have reports from June through the months? There's some of those that's second that, back there. Uh, um, I think. Do you have them? Can you show me which months in June and all? Because um, we're going back into June, but I think these all start in September, August okay. and September. Either Look, I'm either going <laughs> to, I'm either going to trust mine or not, and also methamphetamine, as we know, moves through a system. That's why they call it speed. 
So unless it's within a day of the other dates, uh, you can show these all day long, but I'm not going to be impressed. I'm going to stand by our reports. Go ahead. I've said what I have to say. Ms. Bro, have you done methamphetamine? No, sir, I have not. It's show me something other than your word. My medication, we thought it was, I was on a medication. I stopped taking it and the patch came back negative finally. And I'm going to the hair follicles. Uh, that go back six months in you ways. Wow. And you have all those. I, I, either I'm going to trust these or not. And I'm going to trust these. And I see uh, two collections. Well, there's one showing. I'm showing a collection in January. 19th, January 16th. And then, but there is a positive on a collection in uh, December 21st. Then it goes to September 27th, y'all's tests show negatives but between your September 27th collection and your so it's like a collection in on 11 23 which shows negative they collect 12 9. That's negative. 1123 is a positive collection. Positive. It's collected. Shows positive for methamphetamine. Okay. You also show it negative. Then I have an 1115. I'm sorry. A 1013 positive. But y'all have a September 27th date, and you don't have another, your negatives, you don't have another one for two months. But yet there's a positive in between that period of time. Those hair tests go back. I'm sorry, there's two positives. Right. Um, but what do y'all say? Have you seen all this? Yes, sir. What do you say about it? My concern is twofold: is there there's they're kind of sporadic. They're not by our order, and so she yeah. gets to decide when she goes. The second thing yeah. is is the the positives for um, well, first you've got a dilute specimen on one of these on the January. There 16. isn't a motion to revoke. Is she on probation? She's on probation. She's on bond. Oh, she's on a bond. Yes, okay. Sir. She's on a bond for DWL, I believe. Oh. And she's okay. got a prior trip to pin for DWL third. So, okay. anything else you might ask? Your Honor, we, we furnished the court with the hair follicle test that all showed you know, the negative. The, Ms. Bro. Is working, she's not doing drugs, all of them test for some, whatever reason. I mean, patch sometimes has false positive. Mm -hmm. How many positives uh, are shown in this group of tests here? From uh, it looks like a period of time from um, June until December of last year. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven tests of positive during that period of time. Those are all in the rub patch. Yeah. 
Yeah, well, I'm going to follow those. She's got a problem. It's not being addressed. That's the way I look at it. Your bond is revoked. You'll be taken into custody. And there is no bond. Sir. It's obvious that you got as uh, some. Sir, I promise that I'm not doing it. Oh, I'm going to take your word. I, well, I I'm going to take problem. your word. No, I, do, I have not done methamphetamine, and I swear on that. I will lose both of my. You're going to have to. You're going to have to do better in convincing me that our drug tests are invalid. Eleven of them. What do you are, mean? I'm sorry. Yeah. You can't even follow any of the rules of decorum, okay. can you? Like interrupting? That's okay. rude. We keep it, I'll keep going until you get tired of talking. But I remember in kindergarten, I was told, don't speak over somebody else like that. That's rude. How old are you? I'm 43. You should have known better since five years of age, not to interrupt. But you've got meth problems. I know you don't. I wish I had it. Surely, I wish I had a dollar. Which I, when people say I don't have them, but um, it was methamphetamine that just sent a man to sixty-five years in prison earlier today. But you've got a series of tests that we're we're going to until I am convinced that these are invalid tests. I'm going to act on these, and I notice that those tests that are being made. We're not the same dates that are being collected, but we're going to stand by these. Let me see her criminal history, please, ma'am. You don't have time, Mike. Let me look at something. One of the reasons they weren't on the same day or soon thereafter was the cost of having independent tests. Hey, let me ask y'all on this DWI third. Yes, sir. I was looking at this. What's Yes, that last one, could, it could be enhanced to a second degree, and I may do that. So, no, I, I, you know, I'm not asking yes, sir. that. Yes, My sir. question is here, a blood warrant was was approved. What what was the... Uh, point two two two. Point two two two. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, alcohol. Did they test for drugs also? Uh, no, sir. Once they do a positive yeah. test for that, they don't test for drugs. Okay. But there is also a, a last time we did a drug test in court, there was an issue with her spitting in the cup. I believe we have. Uh, That's right. Also. I remember because that doesn't happen often. Yeah, you did that, didn't you? Uh huh. Tell me you didn't because I remember because it doesn't happen. It's an odd thing. Which is here. Is that yours? You, you want to make copies and for this for us later or something? Because I'm giving those back to them. You know, um, we can't have her out about positive on meth, like others that we test, 11 positives, and then we're going to say, well, our tests aren't valid. We're either going to stand by our tests or not. We're going to stand by. If the court would like to test her today, you know, that's, that doesn't absolve her of the 11 prior positives. That's the problem while she's on bond. Okay. Well, I mean, it's obviously that doesn't, it's not important enough for you to follow the rules, but that's serious. And we all know methamphetamine is, a, I mean, it drove somebody to murder in this trial. We know how serious it can be. All right. Your, your bond is revoked. Zero bond right now. And what do you want to do next? What's the next event? Well, I'd like to go visit my home. Okay, I understand. Well, let me know. I just don't want to just sitting in there. Something needs, we got to do something. Yeah. One way or the other. But here's the, what we have is one or two problems. Either a, a, a recognized valid testing procedure that's used by a major law enforcement organization is completely and totally invalid or uh, we've got a consistent problem that's completely and totally being denied. One of those two, but both are, A and B are both problem, problems. 
that are serious problems that have to be dealt with. And I've never thought that our tests have been judged and deemed to be inappropriate, especially 11 separate tests that show positive. Those are. But, but I'm always open to find, getting to the points of getting to the facts. And these are bad tests. I don't want to use them, but nobody seems to convince me they are. And, and that is right. I remember we caught you spinning using saliva to try to, which was last last week we caught a guy with a bag of urine tied taped to his leg. So we know. Uh, desperate attempts are made to trick us, but that, that's what we're going to do. Um, I want to review this, though, in a few weeks so that this, she's just not languishing. I'll be... Okay, thank you, Mr. Megan. Do you have another case? No, no. That is it? Okay. See if y'all can work those other things, Dan. Yes, sir. To move that other stuff. Yeah, I think because yes, it's done, Mr. Perks. Yeah.